Hello and welcome to Watson's Weekly. This is a quick roundup of what I think are the most important and interesting economic and commercial events of the week just gone. On the macro front, I'll be talking about more tariff stuff in the current US and China uh, trade war and the Bank of England's decision to raise interest rates from 0.5% to 0.75%. In terms of themes, I'm going to talk about car manufacturers, bit of tech, uh, UK retailers and UK uh, estate agents. There was some interesting stuff from car manufacturers this week as Volkswagen unveiled strong results, although it did warn that they might be headwinds going forward as aluminium and steel tariffs and other protectionist measures would start to bite. Chief Exec Herbert Deese did announce, however, that VW was aiming to build solid state batteries at scale by 2025, saying that they were the natural successors of current lithium ion technology. Tesla announced that it would be building its first major European production facility with Germany looking like the front runner at the moment. This comes hot on the heels of the announcement that it made earlier this month that it was going to be building its first overseas plant in China. Founder Elon Musk soothed any worries investors may have had by saying that profits would come later on uh, would come later on this year due to a significant increase in the number of Model 3 sales in the second quarter and that the company wasn't in fact running out of money. All good. In tech news, Apple passed the valuation threshold of one trillion dollars this week and Google discussed a return to China with a new product that would be censorship friendly. This is kind of ironic given that the company abandoned China in 2010 precisely because of all the chat about censorship, but I guess that China's potential is just too big to be ignored. This week was also a mixed bag for retailers as House of Fraser's future looked to be in doubt, as its Chinese would-be saviour pulled out, leaving the troubled department store's future hanging in the balance. Sports Direct Mike Ashley and turnaround specialist Altieri were among those rumoured to be in the running to scoop it up, but nothing concrete's happened yet. Greggs and Next both reported strong numbers this week, but they were cautious on the outlook, and both said that they had been helped by landlords accepting lower rents when leases came up for renewal. This just goes to show how desperate things have become as this is the last thing landlords want to be doing. But lower rent is always better than no rent. The last thing I was going to mention in this roundup was UK estate agents, who have had a bit of a shocker this week. Foxton's announced yet another profit warning earlier in the week, and then Countrywide, which is the UK's biggest estate agent, saw its share price drop by 60% after it asked investors to give it £140 million to stop it from collapsing. I suspect that the situation is likely to get worse going into uh, going to the Brexit next year. I hope you found this roundup interesting. I publish a note on um, a daily notes on watsonsdaily.com, which gives you more detail on what I've just said on a daily basis. If you want to get access to this, as well as my weekly, monthly and annual publications that will turbo boost your commercial awareness, don't be shy. Please subscribe. A subscription will cost you less than a double espresso per month. Thanks for watching. Watson out.